No, but it's possible. No, you never had any situation like that. No. What about you, Parth? <laughs> Have you been to any um? Mm, what do you call it? amusement park? Yes. Okay. Yes. Wanderla or whatever innovative city or something. Ah. So when you go there, you are feeling excited? Yes. Yes. You, do you feel exhausted at the end of the day after going in so many rides? Yes. Mm. And do you feel nervous when you're going to go on that giant wheel that is going to go up and down like that? No. No. You don't feel nervous at all. <laughs> But I would. <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> so you would feel excited and happy and exhausted at the end of the day. Hold on for a second. My doggy wants to come inside the room. One second. Let me just check. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> Has everyone joined? No. Yes, ma'am. We can start. Yeah, I can't see the kids, Aisha. I mean, I can see two of them. Are there more or is there only two? I think there are no more. Again, we request the kids to kindly switch on their cameras and say hi, Shubha. Shubha, auntie is feeling nervous. Can you show your faces and say hi to me and make me feel better? Hopefully. <laughs> huh? OK, just let me know who are the kids here. Shabnam, can the children tell their names? Oh, Stita. Ah, you know Stita. Okay. Hi, Stita. Hi. <laughs> Hi, good evening. There are two kids we can see there on the, on the phone camera. Can you guys switch, uh, switch on your audio also? I can this theta who else is there ma'am i am sri vishnu ma'am hi sri vishnu good evening good evening ma'am and there's someone behind you also who is that someone i saw behind you my sister ma'am ah what's her name Sri Ranjani, ma'am. Sri Ranjani. Hi, Sri Ranjani. Hi. 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 My internet connection is a little unstable, it says. Hold on. It is not unstable to me. Yeah, it just showed up. It just said for a second that it is unstable. Hmm. All right. Who else is there? Hi, Stita. Hi. All of you had your evening milk or biscuits or whatever. I had my chips. You had your chips. You had I it had without chips. sharing. Mm. What about you, Stita? Mm. And what about Sri Ranjani and Sri Vishnu? What did you have? <laughs> what did you have in the evening? Did you all? Ma'am, tender Ma coconut, ma'am. Tender. Okay.
Who has a join? I can see Pranati. Good evening. Hello. Hi. You're just back from school, huh? Yeah. Yeah, tired out. Long day? Yes. Yes. Mm. Yes. Did you have anything to drink or eat? Yeah, yeah, I had. Okay. All right. So shall we start? Naisha, yes, Twin, we'll start. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. So good evening. Is there something to... I should start or there is something you need to do? Or can I start? Aparna. Yeah, yeah, it's all, it's all yours, Shubha. Shubha. Start. Yeah. Great. All right. Good evening. Thank you for being here. I'm Subha. Now, I was told that I need to tell something about what I do, how my journey has been, what I'm doing right now. That is one part of it. And also work with a little bit of emotional awareness. All of my voice is echoing. So mute yourself so that it doesn't you don't hear me again and again that will be like ghost ghost coming in okay so and let's talk a little bit about emotional awareness or our emotions and why they are important okay so we will see what what we can do and how we can go about it now if i start telling about myself it's going to be very boring okay it will be like a long story so what we'll do, we'll do it as a game. All right. So what you need to do is you need to think of three questions. So I'm going to give you five minutes. You think of three questions that will tell you something about me. And when one person asks me those questions, the other person cannot ask the same questions. So that means if there are one, two, three, four, five of you, Right? Each one of you asked me three questions. How much that will be? Someone do the math. Hmm? Sorry, Parth, I can't hear you. 15 questions. 15 questions. It's like the 20 questions game yeah, there, that you play. So you need to figure out what my life has been and where I am now with those 15 questions. And if something gets left out, maybe I'll add something to it. Do you think you're up for this game? Yes. OK, cool. So I'll give you how much time do you need to write down those three questions? They need to be such questions mm -hmm. that it's not a yes and no answer, but there is more I need to share about it. OK, so who volunteers to start first so that it gives time for the others to frame their own questions? Me. OK, you want to start first? All right, so I'll give you five minutes. Think about the question, and then we will start. You can ask me that question. So Prahan, do you have, you're writing down the questions, or do you have it in your mind? I have it in my mind. All the three questions you're ready with? Yes. Pakka? Lock kar diya jai? No. <laughs> okay, so you get another three minutes. Go ahead. Others can also think what would be I the came questions. Up with two questions. I'm not able to come up with the third. Ah, okay. Just keep thinking. Something will come up when you hear the others ask. Okay, I got my three. Ready. Ready? All right. Go ahead, Prahan. First question. What is your age? <laughs> That's a good one. So do you want to make a guess? Mm, no. Anyone else wants to guess what could be my age? Guess, guess. I won't. Huh? Sorry? 
I did a lot of jobs. So which job are you talking about? Mm. First one. Number first, one. First, number one was I joined as a teacher in a school. But I left that in a month. So that okay. is just one of my first jobs. OK. Mm. And Third next, question. What is your favorite food? What is my favorite food? Mm -hmm. I like rajma rice. Okay. Mm. Okay, now can I ask? Yes. Who's going next? Huh. Pranati. Yes, Pranati. Go ahead. Okay, first question. Where do you live? Thank you for answering. Thank you, Pran, for asking those questions. I live in Bangalore, JP Nagar. Okay. And what are what are you like what are you working for now? What am I working for now? I am a counseling psychologist and I work with adults. I work with parents. I work with uh, adults and I do training and I work with children too. And I do life. Question, um, yeah. What's your most favorite hobby? Most favorite hobby? Connecting to people and reading. Great, you answered me three questions. Mm, thank you for asking those questions. Who goes next? Yes, Pat. Oh, yeah. So my first question is, what is your favorite TV show? Well, that's a tough one. I don't have any favorite TV show. But I watch K-dramas a bit. Yeah, a little bit. Yes. When I don't have anything else to do. Hmm. Actually, can I ask one question? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, what is your current job right now? I'm a counselor right now. Why did you choose counseling? Hmm. Why did I choose counseling? Now that has long story in it. <laughs> Do you want to hear the long of it or the short of it? Short of it. The short of it. OK, so that was 15 years back when I started this journey. And that time, my children were much younger. And I wanted to connect with them better. I wanted to understand myself and them better. So I started learning more about myself. And then I started working with people. And I started enjoying it. And I enjoy it till now. I enjoy working with children. I enjoy working with adults. And here I am. That's how. That's the short of it. OK. Hmm. Uh, what was a G, uh, dream job in your childhood? That's a nice question. My dream job was to become a lawyer. I wanted to be a lawyer. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Tita, you have questions? So first is uh, when you became like your first job, like when you became one teacher, what, how many subjects do you, did you teach? <laughs> yeah, when I became a teacher, actually, I'll let you in, in on secret. The, you know, Pat asked me the question, what was your dream job? And I wanted to be a lawyer. So I became a lawyer. I completed my law degree. And uh, but then I thought I don't want to be a lawyer anymore. So I went and joined the school. 
So there I joined the LKG, I think. Yeah, I was the LKG teacher. <clears throat> then you have to take all the subjects for them, no? English, Hindi, Math, Science, whatever was there. So I took all the subjects for them. Um, then the next thing um, that when you see some, like, when you see something, and what makes you happy when you see something? Can you be Can more specific? specific? With the question, my voice is echoing back. I got scared. I thought there was a ghost out here. Ah, can you be more specific about it, Suti? What What is it that I see that uh, makes me happy? What makes you feel happy? What makes me feel happy? When I see people being kind to each other, I feel happy. <laughs> um and what like type of person you are what kind of person am i yes i have no clues to the uh, one minute I... i'm like this one minute i'm like that one minute i'm I'm smiling and happy. The next minute, I'll be sad. Then I'll be upset. Then I get happy again. So I don't know what kind of person I am. You will have to tell me in the end what kind of person I am. Uh, OK, so you didn't answer this question. So can I ask you one more? Yes. What's your favorite color? What's my favorite? <laughs> Anything that is that is pastel any i like the light colors more yeah okay uh, thank, the you the thank you Ma so what did I... you get to yes yes go ahead hi i'm ananya hi ananya go ahead what makes you very sad <laughs> What makes me very sad is when I see people being not very kind to others, especially children. <laughs> yeah. What that is your favorite story? What is your favorite story? What is my favorite story? Don't have any particular story, but yeah. Uh, there are some stories called Zen stories. I like those stories a lot. They are short and sweet. That's why. And which is your lucky number? No clue, Ananya. <laughs> I have no clue what is my lucky number. I've never thought of it. But thank you for the question. I'll think about that. What is yours? It's four and eight now. Hmm. How did you come to that conclusion? Uh, because I love, uh, I like the even numbers. So. Okay. All right. Hmm. That's interesting. I never thought of what is my lucky number. No clue. Okay. So what did Thank you get you. to know about me? Thank you, Ananya. Are there any other kids who want to ask question, or is there an adult who wants to? Ask and question that also we are welcome to. Anyone? No. I would like to ask. You. Go ahead. Uh, so like you just mentioned, you had a dog, right? You have mm. a dog. So like, uh, is it that you don't like cats, or you prefer dogs? Is it something like that? No, I love cats. When I was younger, I used to have a lot of cats at home. I mean, not in the home, but outside. They would come and I would feed them. Then why did you like adopt a dog? Yeah, that's a good question. I love doggies too. I have loved doggy for a very long time. Doggies. And 
my parents never really were keen on it my dad would keep bringing dogs in but we could never keep one for a long time so that was my dream to have a doggy so do you because i had kept cats for me? because i want i also want a dog but my parents are denying it yeah he must be having some reasons for it isn't it his reason is like who will take care of him of training as and all absolutely see that is what my kids told me just 6 years back they said they will take care of the dog they will clean up after her they will take her for a walk now one is working the other one is in college in hostel so who is taking care of her you i am and she comes and wakes me up at 4 o'clock in the morning they she very... wants her chew stick she wants her food she wants me to play with her when i have to do cooking do you have any tips for me tips for you wait for uh, another maybe a year or two till you start taking you know showing more you know taking more uh, being proactive about taking your responsibilities or or show your papa how you take care of things so you know what i did when my daughter was young she wanted to have a doggy badly right so she said i want to have a doggy i want to have a doggy i said okay so we'll do an experiment so i gave her an egg and that egg she needs to keep it safe for one month and she has to take the egg everywhere she goes and the egg will cry in the night she has to take care of the egg and she took care of the egg all the time even when she went down to play she would take the egg with her and go and the egg did not break after a month okay. it remained like that for almost 2 3 months yeah so you could talk to your papa and see how you can convince him but it's 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 a long lot of work out there yes somebody I, had raised their hand can i ask you which kind of which breed do you have she is an indi we yeah we adopted her from a shelter so she is going to be 6 years old now yes hmm you want you are more curious about my doggy than you are about me come on hmm no i just love dogs that is yes so what did you get to know about me tell me that you are a counselor and you were also a teacher hmm and your dream job was a teacher oh, sorry a lawyer hmm and i am a lawyer by profession but i left that yes and then i got into uh and this laugh it's so what you became a lawyer and left it yep i did so that's what you do counseling and you have a dog and i have a dog so you you may choose something but at the end of it you may you may want something else that is that is something more enriching for you and you may choose to do something else so any time you can change you can shift your you know direction or take a different path and that was the advantage i had with my parents that they never told me that you should do this or you should do that so after becoming a lawyer i said no i want to explore different things so i chose to be a teacher for some time i experienced that then i joined a i joined a hotel and i worked there for some time so i did a lot of other things then i joined as a lawyer in an organization for some time then i realized e hey, i don't like it very much and then i kept exploring 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 and then i figured this space that i really enjoy i love connecting to children enjoy talking to them enjoy learning from them and also my training so i train parents on how they can connect well with their children and also learn about themselves so that's what i do are there any other questions that come up about my life i have one what what's your most favorite color are you तुम लोग कलर्स पे ही पड़े हुए हो हाँ 
I love all the pistols, pink, blue, violet, red. All colors I like. Aisa kuch nahi hai. There's no particular favorite color. Earlier it used to be pink, now it is not. So it keeps changing. Everything keeps changing. Okay. So let's do a little more about feelings. What are feelings according to you? How do you know you're feeling something? A way you express emotions. So give me an example. Supposing if something good happened, then you feel happy and then you smile. If something bad happened, you become sad and you frown. OK. So but how do you know that you are sad? When uh, you don't want something or you don't like something. Hmm. So in your body, your brain tells you, oh, I don't like this kind of thing. What? How, how does one know? My, uh, sen you know, my senses, supposing I touch something hot and mm -hmm. then it pains and then now mm -hmm. I don't like it. Ah. So when you touch something, it, it hurts you. It, you know, burns. So that sensation goes from your body to your brain. And your brain says that is not nice, pleasant sensation at all. And then your brain says, oh, it is hot or it is mm, it is scary or it is. Then it gives a word to it. That is the feeling. Yes. OK. So feelings are words that describe the sensation in the body. Yes. How does one know that you're you're feeling angry? By your expressions on your face and the way you speak. Are there times when there is no expression on the face and still that person can be angry? Yes, uh, but then that person won't speak much. So you will know that they are angry. Yes. So if somebody doesn't speak much, do you think they are angry? Or they might disagree with everything you say. Hmm, sorry? Or they might disagree with everything you say. OK, so when one disagrees with someone, that means they are angry? Most of the time. Hmm. Do you experience anger like that? I mean, in terms of when somebody doesn't talk to you or somebody doesn't answer your questions or somebody says, no, 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 for whatever you say, that means you think that they are feeling angry. No. But then uh, uh, it's like they don't want to, you know, uh, be a part of anything kind of thing. Mm. OK. So could there be any other feeling also along with it? Yes. What would that be? Maybe sadness, sadness or jealousy or something. Ah, So there could be other feelings also. Ah. Sadness, jealousy. Maybe annoyed, irritated, upset, scared. Yeah, but. Hmm. So it can be a lot of feelings. So let's play another game. Shall we? Are you ready? Yes. So I'm going to show you some pictures. Okay. You need to guess what they might be feeling. All right. Done. Okay. OK, hold on. I have to figure this one out present now. Actually, using only um, eyebrows and mouth itself, you can kind of like figure out what every person is feeling. Hmm. That is one of the ways you could. The body is also talking a lot, right? Suppose, for example, I'm sitting like this, but I'm talking. What do you think I'm feeling? Boredom. Hmm. It could be. What else? Sadness. Sad. Sad. Or irritated. Mm. Irritated. What else? Annoyed. Maybe. OK. No expression at all. What else? So, so the same thing can, you can figure out so many different feelings for it, no? So how will you know which is the correct one? Depending on maybe what they do after that or what they say or what. Mm. Or maybe when you check in, so you'll say, Subha, you seem to be feeling whatever. And I say, no, no, no. And then I tell you what I'm feeling. 
so you get to know what i'm feeling sometimes the body can tell a lot sometimes the the way we perceive something can be totally different too right so let's let's play this game and see what comes up okay i wish you guys would switch on your videos window yes that is nice to see people share now i cannot see you at all can you see the slide yes all right yes okay wait how do i show the are you able to see Yes, yes, sir. Ah, uh, if you're not, yes. then you tell me. Okay, now tell me what is number one feeling? Um, I'm not scared. Sad, ma'am. Scared. Okay, so I'm just going to note scared. it down. Scared. Then. What Annoyed, else? Annoyed, overwhelmed, surprised, stressed, astonished. Number one. One. Stressed. Stressed. Okay, oh. stressed. Okay, what yeah. about number two? Astonished. Astonished. Uh, overwhelmed. Shocked. Overwhelmed. Okay. Sub what about number three? Relaxed. Relaxing. Relaxed. Relaxed. Mm. What else? Angry. Number three. Sarcastic. Number three. Sarcastic. Mm. Very happy and relaxed. Happy and relaxed. All right. Ma'am, what about number? One is angry, ma'am. Over mm -hmm. angry. Over oh, angry. Okay. That's how you show your anger to mama, pa. To mama, papa. No, ma'am. No, ma <laughs> no, ma no. Then how do you show that you are angry to mama, dada? Hmm? Ah, let's. Oh. Little ma'am. Hmm. What about number five? Bored. bored a lot. It's bored. very bored. Embarrassed. Very bored. Or angry or annoyed. Or ah, okay. What about number six? Nervous. Nervous. Scared ma'am. Hmm. Scared. Nervous. Right. Right. Do you when you when you are watching when you are watching a uh, a match between india and something some country and it's the last ball and india can need six runs how will you be watching like that what do you think that feeling is and then um kind of like you you watch in curious observant, observant kind of thing uh, curious observing mm -hmm. what about yes. number seven completely Shouting. angry <laughs> Something shouting. Angry. Then what else? Pain. Pain. Then totally surprised. He's in pain. Surprised. What else? He's like, oh. Yeah, he's been playing the football match and maybe he scared, his team uh, his team loses. Ah, his maybe, team loses. Maybe scared because uh, supposing he's falling down then. Hmm. So he's scared. Do you think he could be disappointed that he didn't win a match? Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, he could be disappointed. Mm. Mm. What about number eight? Uh, Bored. Mom, I feel the seventh one is, I think he's just yawning. Become sad. <laughs> yawning. Eight All right. Like uh, bored and sad and disappointed and everything together. Ah, uh, could be disappointed. What about nine? Completely sad. Hmm. Very very sad. Very angry. Very uh, sad. And then. Hmm. Becoming both. sad by saying something. Yeah. Maybe. They are they are happily uh, uh, crying also no it could be a relief also that does not look like that in this picture <laughs> it doesn't look like that 
be mm-hmm. happy girls it must be sometimes you think that you are going to fail and then you pass so tears come joy of uh, what is that tears of joy come joy of happiness mm. so it could be relief also oh we both found each other we thought we were lost so we are crying out of relief is that possible then yes maybe mm that is also possible what about 10 Sad, sad, jealous. Hmm. Sad, jealous. That's interesting. Jealous. Okay. Hmm. Eleven. Happy. 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 Excited. Happy. Surprised. Mm. Overjoyed. Yeah, you can see that in her smile. What about twelve? Ah, joyful. What about twelve? Um. Sad. Sad. lonely Then, lonely okay what lonely else hmm yeah it could be sometimes what we see and what we are feeling could be different things yeah what about 13 very very happy joyful hmm yeah 14 he is like Cat, cat, what are you doing? Like feeling, oh my god. Hmm. What am I going to do? Or tired? Shocked? What else? Maybe scared? Yes, you think he's scared? Hmm. Mm, yes. No. Yes. No. What about fifteen? Or confused also for fourteen? Yeah. could be confused also yes 15 is stressed 15 is stressed nervous nervous or she's curious about something something is coming up could it Are be it? curious yes or is uh stressed like from work mm could be could be she's thinking eager. too hard uh eager she's feeling eager yeah, also when what happened mm. sad or angry mm so now i'm going to stop share and we're going to have a quick discussion ayo what happened how do i stop share you have stopped you have you stopped yeah. but i can't see you guys okay this google meet is new for me it's confusing i feel confused all right so you said so many feelings right we have a huge vocabulary of feelings i've written down everything from sad angry whatever so many things happy surprised jealous scared disappointed curious annoyed bored so now tell me is it okay to feel all these feelings yes yes or or is it not okay to have some feelings some feeling uh, such as jealousy we should not feel yes okay So, if someone says you should not feel jealous, you stop feeling jealous. <laughs> Does that happen? No. It doesn't uh, happen, but we should try not to feel it. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, what makes you say that that jealousy is not a good feeling? Because it always uh, looks like that. Uh, Everybody, once you get the habit of getting jealousy, you feel that everybody is doing bad to you, and they're not involving you basically. So you feel jealous every time in every single situation. Hmm. Or else you are okay. not getting something from others that uh, some uh, others are getting, hmm. and uh, that the moral is that you shouldn't. you should be happy by what you are 
Okay. Is that so simple? No, no. So, so when you feel jealous, do you tell your parents, Mama, I'm feeling jealous? No. Or Papa, yeah. I'm feeling jealous? Yes. You tell that? And when you tell, what does Papa or Mama say? Beta, don't feel jealous. They say that. Yes. Or they say, it's OK to feel jealous. Yay, Pranati is feeling jealous. No, they don't say that. No? Uh, they say it's okay to feel jealous, but uh, just control yourself. Oops. How do you control yourself? Okay. So when you feel happy, you go and tell Papa or Mama, Mama, Papa, I'm feeling really happy. So they say, no, don't feel too happy. No, they say that's good. Oh, my God. Oh so my God. all the time you have to be happy? No. Hmm. So if you if you feel sad and you go and tell mama papa I'm feeling sad, so they say yes, good stita, you're feeling sad. It's good to feel sad at times. Do they say that? Yes. Okay, parts sometimes, papa says that. What about others? Sometimes. Hmm. Sometimes what? They say okay, oh, fine. Says... You feel sad. Hmm. <laughs> no. Hmm. She says what that do they every, say? Every, every feeling is good. Hmm. It's okay to. Every feeling is okay. Yeah. So jealousy is also okay. Sadness is also okay. Is it okay to have all the feelings? Yes. Yep. Everyone agrees we can have all the feelings. It's OK to have all the feelings. Yes. Is it about not, the feelings? But not all the time. Like if it's a positive one, then yes. But if it's a negative one, then no. Papa, what is positive and negative here? Maybe like if you're happy or something, then you can be happy all the time. But you can't be sad or angry all the time. But can you be happy all the time? Maybe that's a possibility. No. Oops. Can anybody be happy all the time? If everything no. happens, then yes. Ah, everything happens according to me, I'll be happy. Does everything happen according to you? Then yeah. you can't be happy all the time, now. Okay, suppose I'm very happy now. All right, I'm really happy. Yeah. Have you seen the football seen fans? The football? My voice is echoing. My voice is mute yourself. Uh, those football fans, their team wins. They are very happy. Do you know what they do? They go and break the chairs. They throw bottles. They they jump on the stadium. Uh, they pull each other, uh, they pull each other's hair and do all that. So when I'm happy, can I do all that? So is it that the feeling is not OK or is it what I do with the feeling that is not OK? Every thing that you yeah. do. Mm. So I can feel. I can feel jealous and do nothing about it. I can feel. Um, uh, happy and pull somebody's hair. Nothing about it. Hmm. So is it what we do with the feeling that is constructive or not constructive, or is it the feeling itself? Um, feeling like itself. The feeling is getting like hundred percent, and that's why you are like so. Like we like. We won, we won, or very sad, angry. Like, you should, you shouldn't be like 100, 100%. 100%. <laughs> you should not be 100% into that feeling. Or else it gets like really so, super high. 
Mm. Yeah. So what if you are angry, is it a bad feeling? If you are feeling angry. It's not a bad feeling. I can feel angry at times, no? But what I do with that anger matters, no? Suppose you want to go for a movie. You have been asking Papa and Mama, I want to go and see PS1, PS1, because all children are going and seeing PS1. Now, don't ask me what is PS1. I don't know. Huh? So PS1, PS1. Oh, you already watched it. Okay. Yeah, it's a bad movie. OK. You so you also saw. See, everyone has seen. So everyone is seeing. So I want to go and watch that PS1. And your Papa or Mama say, no. And you feel upset. Is that OK to have that feeling that you are disappointed or upset that you can't get what you want? It's OK. In, in this case, we are not, you are not actually wanting to see the movie. We are just mm -hmm. wanting to see the movie because my friends are watching. Huh. So whatever the reason, now you're mm -hmm. disappointed that you don't have a point of conversation with them because you haven't seen the movie. So and you're disappointed with what it. It is PS1 is only in seven one. Yes. So there is a Pony and Selvan 2 also coming up. Oh my God. Mm. So if you are disappointed, how do you express that to your parents? You will cry, you will shout, you will scream, you will throw things. But, but, but. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Yeah, you'll get angry, you'll cry, you'll say, you don't love me. If you loved me, you will take me for this movie. Right? Yes. Do that. And then in the end, they say, OK, fine. We will take you. So is that a great way of expressing your feeling? No, yes, yes, no. If you tell your parents, I'm really disappointed, my heart is, you know, breaking. When will you take me for the movie? Then also they will take you for the movie, na? some point or the other. But you are breaking things. So you can be upset, you can be disappointed. Ah, But what you do with that disappointment matters, no? What is emotional awareness? All of you are doing math right now, right? All of you are learning math. Yes. So there must be certain certain sums that come up which are very frustrating. You don't get it. Huh? Yeah. Yes, it's like you know you want to pull your hair because it's not coming easily for you when you are doing your homework or something. So how do you react to it? How do you respond to it? Do you say, I'm feeling frustrated? Or do you say, why is it not coming? Throw the notebook here. Throw the notebook there. I will never learn math again. I hate my math teacher. Do you say that? No. Mm, what do you say? You say, I am dumb. I'm not getting the sum. No. Hmm. What do you say? But what do you say? You get so frustrated that you run away. You say, no, I will do it tomorrow, day after, day, day, day after, and never come back to it. I don't do that. So what do you do when it is frustrating for you? I sit down. I hmm. think that, why am I so dumb? Oops. Hmm. So you think, why am I so dumb? I can't get this stupid sum. Yeah. But the sum is stupid. No, you are not. Yeah, but that the sum is making me stupid. Eh? So when you feel frustrated, that is how you are reacting, right? Never if you were that. feeling, if you are feeling curious about it, how would you respond to that sum? 
I will search on Google like how to solve Actually, this. Actually, what I do That's is I finish stuff. the homework in the class itself. So then, mm-hmm. like, if I don't know a quite a page, I leave like leave two pages, and then I don't come back to it. And when the teacher asks, and then ask her how to do it because nobody else would have put down it either. Ah, so you have your own strategy to work with it. But how do you work with the feelings that come up? Is it the feeling that is not okay, or it's is it the hard. way we deal? the way we deal with the feeling so it's first of all i get seriously annoyed if i'm not able to solve one sum so instead of googling how to answer that sum i'll just try to find the concept and then if i don't understand it i'll go straight to youtube and then if youtube does not give me the answer then i'll close the homework <laughs> close the homework but does that annoyance show in your uh, um, whole body do you show it on your parents you'll say i'm so annoyed i'm so annoyed do you say that i'm annoyed or do you get just angry you say i hate school why are you sending me to this school no i stomp my leg and then my leg starts feeling and then i go sit down ah so we are expressing ourselves in different ways isn't it so we are feeling all these feelings we do feel angry we do feel jealous we do feel sad we do feel envious of others we 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 have all the feelings all the feelings are same what do you do with the feeling that is more important does that make sense oops it's already 6 and i have hardly spent time with you guys what is this okay let me tell you a bit about the brain and then <clears throat> we could end it so do you know how the brain looks Uh, it has yes. cerebrum cerebrum uh, medulla and all that stuff okay you are go, you are, you know what your what your science is and you know your brain but how does it look can you show me a hand model of your brain it looks something like this ah okay that's the frontal our brain is like this put your hands can you see my hand yes so this is the spinal cord brain stem here lower part of the brain upper part of the brain right so this part is called the prefrontal cortex this part is called the downstairs brain where there is amygdala you know what an what amygdala is so this is the amygdala the lower part of the brain this is the brain stem out here and this is the spinal cord so from the spinal cord the body whatever happens in the body the message goes through the spinal cord to the brain stem to the lower part of the brain and then the upper part of the brain makes sense of what is going on so when you touch an object if it is cold the sensation goes from your body to the spinal cord brain stem lower part of the brain then the upper part of the brain says oh it's cold oh it's unpleasant so this is called the thinking part of the brain but then sometimes it's called the, the brain prefrontal is cortex like, you need to do it quickly so that time the some something like blinking or only a spinal cord itself takes charge right yeah the brain stem takes charge of yeah, your something breathing like something about poke your eyes and immediately you close your eyes yes yes that is that is what the the whole system is in such a way that it protects us all the time so if you see a bright light automatically your eyes will close you are not thinking oh should i close my eyes or not if your house is on fire you are not going to stand there and say okay what should i do now you are not going to use your thinking brain there first thing you will do is run correct if you are walking on the road suddenly you see a tiger what will you do Okay, you shouldn't run because tigers are way faster than you. So you go somewhere, but they're good climbers also, and then they swim also. So you go hide somewhere. <laughs> they can smell you also. But what if they're very good hide uh, seekers also? Yeah. So what? What will you do? Then what if I you will see do? I will either hide, um, and um, you know, like. I can kind of like camouflage if I go and climb a tree slowly. Ah, tree. all this, all this you're thinking. You're using your thinking. Yeah, there you will stand. Ah, but that is how the body is designed. If you see a tiger in front of you, you are you will do three things. Either you will run, or you will fight. 
you will pick up a stick here and there stone let me throw okay or you will freeze that's what i will do i think i will just freeze what will parth do what will stita do i will try to put up a fire nothing i will bring another animal and place it in front of it and i will run it eh uh, for that you need lot of time <laughs> that is your prefrontal pre cortex, cortex thinking thinking so at that so at moment that you will not think your amygdala takes over that is the fight or the flight or the freeze response yeah so when so every time you don't see a tiger in front of you right i don't but you I... think there is a tiger when your teacher comes in front of you that's it it's fight flight or freeze especially the unpleasant ones <laughs> or try to earn a good name saying ma'am i have completed my goal i completed my goal <laughs> yes so you will try to please that is your prefrontal cortex so let me show you the picture of the brain wait a minute the problem with this is if i share then i can't see you guys okay are you able to see yeah. can you see yes yeah. so you can see that the hand it says the the you know prefrontal cortex it shows on the left hand side on on the right hand side you can see different colors the feeling brain that is the amygdala when you totally lose control suppose something doesn't happen the way you want then you are shouting screaming crying kicking how many of you kick when you are upset you kick you kick people you kick your toys you kick your cycle you throw your racket do you do such things that is your downstairs brain working the yellow part is the caution area where you know that you are going to react and the green part do you see the prefrontal cortex that's the thinking brain that's called the upstairs brain which is always ready to learn new things uh, so whenever you are thinking about your brain you can use the hand model i showed you na the spinal cord the brain stem the middle part the upper you know the prefrontal cortex out here and the amygdala and the hippocampus so they are responsible for our safety all right so this is the brain that uh, pranati showed the upper part of the brain that is the thinking brain and this is the limbic system that that is the lower brain functions that is breathing Uh, understanding whether there is a threat or not so all that happens out here okay so what is emotional awareness emotional awareness is basically to identify the sensation what is going on in your body and to give it a name so you will give it oh i am feeling annoyed i am feeling upset and acknowledging it yes i am feeling upset and then also thinking what is making me upset papa said no to chocolate that is why i am feeling upset then express and manage it instead of uh, taking papa's laptop and throwing it somewhere or taking the phone and saying i will throw it in the dustbin instead of saying that you will say i am feeling disappointed i want a chocolate right so that is how you are going to get what you want not by fighting them and also it helps us to identify other people's needs the way you did when you saw the pictures you said oh he is feeling sad or he is feeling uh, you know bored so you can identify other people's emotions also when you are able to identify yours does that make sense did i stop share yes yes you did ah yeah. so does that make sense yes okay yes. i would have loved to do more but it's 6 o'clock so but i will give you a tool would you like to have a tool to work with your feelings hmm. so you make three circles in a paper if you have three circles 
Yes, she has all the colors there. All ready. Yes. Make three circles. One circle is green, one circle is orange, one circle is red. So you color each circle. One circle will be green color, one circle will be orange, one circle will be red. Uh, Ma'am, one circle will be green, one circle will be orange, and one circle will be red. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, once you have colored it, now this is going to be your tool. Now, what does a tool mean? Tool is like, you know, if you have to uh, put a nail on, on, on the wall, what is the tool that you will use? A nail, a screw, or something like that. Mm. What else will you use? What are the other tools? A other hammer? A hammer or mm. uh, that drill. Mm. Yes, you will need a drill. You need a drill bit. And then you drill it in. Or you will hammer the nail. So this is like a tool for you to understand your feelings. When it is going so overwhelming, when it is going off where your prefrontal cortex is not working, you are flipping the lid. <gasps> things are going bad i'll never do well oh i'm so dumb i can't do a simple question that means you are not using your prefrontal cortex so at that moment you can use this tool put it up in front of you somewhere make big big circle and ask yourself is my feeling in green that is the safe zone where i am safe and the other person is safe or is it in the orange zone where i don't feel that safe or is it in the red zone where I don't think I am safe and I'm going to hurt someone because that feeling is so much, it's so strong. You know, when you get angry, you don't know what we are doing, right? So you can use this tool to figure out where we are. Am I in the safe zone? Am I in the orange zone? Little bit here and there, I'm not feeling too good. Or am I in the red zone? Am I going to throw things at people? Right? So if you are in that red zone, what will you do? You will breathe. No, no, you will not do that. You will breathe. <laughs> and you will tell yourself, I am in the red zone. I am in the red zone. So that your parents can know that you are feeling really unhappy about something. Right? Instead of throwing something at them or throwing something at yourself, just say, I'm in the red zone. I'm in the red zone. So they will know that you are in the red zone and they will be there for you. Does that make sense? Will you be able to use it? Instead of saying, I am dumb, you are dumb. Teacher is dumb. School is dumb. No. Of course, you say that in your head, but you don't say that outside. Don't I know that? Stita, oh, oh. You are saying, I'm such a good girl, I don't think that way. No? Yes? So are yes, there any other questions coming up? Did this session help you in any way? What is What is it that you learned? from this session, from this conversation. Um, yeah, you can use your hand to make um, a brain and um, that you can find different emotions in one single picture and the, this three color circle thing. Hmm. OK, thank you, Pranati, for sharing that. Yes, Tita, what came out for you? Also, that you had a pet dog. Yeah, I do have a pet dog. Yes, and I do all the work for her. Yes, Tita, you tell me. 
what came out for you? What did you like about the session or didn't like? Can I say? Yeah. First I learned is um this three circles that are orange, red, and green. And I learned lots of things from the emo emotional awareness. Uh like and also if we touch, like you said, if we touch something cold and our brain gets to work, that the brain parts also learn something new there. Mm -hmm. And of course, the hands, because I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. that's Thank it. 